to be lived. And nobody. What is going on in there? Okay, ladies. Your wings can't fly, but your voices can. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hi, Nadia. Thanks for making this work. We appreciate you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm happy to be here. Wish was amazing. It was oh. really cute. Um, I thought the soundtrack was phenomenal. Uh. And one of the other things that really stood out to me was the animation, uh -huh. how it kind of like combined like 2D with 3D. Yeah. Um, I guess with this being Disney's uh, centennial, how did Wish kind of uh, come about bringing about uh, like, I guess, a theme of Wishes becoming reality? Yeah. How did this kind of take part? And can you walk us through your creative journey? Well, back in 2018, you know, Jen Lee became chief creative officer of Disney Animation. And she noticed that 2023 was the centennial. And uh, she told the studio she wanted to create a movie that was a complete original story while also conveying the idea of Disney animation. And she started to talk to her co-director from Gross and Chris Buck. And then we started to bring people from all over the studio to tell us what Disney meant for them emotionally. So words like joy and hope and wishing and wishing on a star started to come to the forefront. And that kind of became our, our guiding light for the whole process of the movie. And I guess, can you tell us how, because you've also worked on other uh, Disney films. Can you tell us how these kind of, um, like in Kanto especially, yeah. I guess how you kind of incorporated different themes into making Wish? Well, you know, the we all start with research and with figuring out what the story could be. And it's interesting because in Wish, we started to look at it inwards. Like the research was about Disney animation itself. We we famously took like an image of each of each movie and we put it up in boards. So we were surrounded by the legacy. Uh, so when we we're talking about original ideas, uh, all of those movies were ever present during our time. And you've also worked on, um, sorry, uh, I guess like kind of like, like Latin focus films. Um, with this one, I guess, how was it kind of, cause I, I I feel like the cast was very diverse. They did a great job um, on all the different kind of characters. Yeah. I guess, was that always kind of like a concept going into this film? Like they wanted it to be very diverse and many different like walks of characters? Well, you know, for us, story comes first. So the idea of Wish, it organically felt multicultural because it's a fictional kingdom where people from all over would come because they have the promise of getting their wish granted. So we were looking for the perfect location for this concept. And we noticed that during the medieval period in that Mediterranean area, that actually kind of happened uh, because it's, uh, it's between continents. It's between the south of Europe and the north of Africa. So it felt just right to set it in that part of the world. And I guess also uh, back to the animation style because there's a lot of like beautiful watercolor and I feel like it plays perfectly with the with the music and the soundtrack mm. how did you uh go about like combining these ideas and deciding to go with like I guess a historical kind of look for the for the film well you know again we were celebrated the 100th anniversary and it was a fairy tale so organically we looked at our first fairy tales like Pinocchio and Snow White and Walt Disney himself used to read those beautiful uh, illustrated fairy tale books. So it was a way to honor the past, but we also wanted to bring it to the future. So our artists collaborated with our technology team to find something fresh and unique for this movie. And then you're talking about the music and it was the same thing. You know, Julia Michaels loves classic Disney. So she heard these songs, but at the same time, she's a contemporary artist. Like she's written hits for like Justin Bieber and Dua Lipa and Selena Gomez and the list goes on. So she was the perfect collaborator. So both visually and musically, we wanted to look at the past, but bring everything into the future. Yeah, I think it did a really good job of combining both. Also, like with the end credits, where you see like the magic kind of showing like all the original characters. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they did a great job on that. <laughs> oh, thank you. And then um, I guess, can you just tell us about some of your inspirations uh, working as like an executive uh, at Walt Disney Animation? Well, you know, for me, uh, working at Disney Animation is a true honor. You know, uh, there's people from all over the world working there. And I think we have so many great, talented artists 
that uh, mo like all of us like work under the same roof, you know. So we have people from visual development to storyboarding to uh, rigging to animation, and we're all collaborating together. So it's a very artistic place to be at, and I just get inspired every day when I walk through those doors. Definitely. Well, the movie inspires. <laughs> Definitely inspires. Thank you so much, Juan. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. And uh, I just want to invite you all to watch our movie in the big screen during this Thanksgiving season. And uh, thanks for taking the time to figure this out. Yes, absolutely. Yeah.